Thank you, Whip Emmer. Just a brief comment on the breaking news this morning. We continue to see unprecedented and illegal lawfare against President Trump, whether it's the sham Alvin Bragg trial in New York City or the weaponized DOJ. Joe Biden disregarded over 250 years of constitutional executive privilege when he orchestrated an unprecedented raid on President Trump's home to obtain presidential records that President Trump was allowed to have under the Presidential Records Act. Now, Joe Biden is hiding behind executive privilege to prevent the American public from hearing how he knowingly mishandled classified intelligence for personal financial gain. On Israel, the lack of leadership we're seeing from the Democrat Party led by Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer is disgraceful. They have turned their backs on supporting our most precious ally, Israel, in a time of existential need. Instead, choosing to placate the far left Democrat radicals who are now the anti-Semitic political base of their party. Schumer, time and time again, vehemently blocked our Israel aid package and publicly rebuked Prime Minister Netanyahu, the leader of an ally at war. Meanwhile, Joe Biden has done everything in his power to give Iran and its terrorist proxies the green light to escalate attacks, withholding critical aid, pressuring Israel to surrender, and continuing Biden's failed foreign policy of appeasement. At every opportunity, Joe Biden has failed to support Israel. Under Joe Biden, our adversaries no longer fear us and our allies cannot rely on us. If Joe Biden wanted to ensure Israel could defend itself, he would, yet he refuses. The American people will judge Joe Biden for this failure and history will judge Joe Biden for this failure as well. House Republicans will not be deterred. We will put this legislation on the floor this week. We will put President Trump back in the White House, grow our majority, take the Senate, and together Republicans will always stand with Israel and its right to exist. And I'm proud to turn it back over to the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson.